my grandfather, he was killed by the Japanese soldiers after the war. So this is a, a very sad part of my family history. Then, coincidentally, I got a scholarship to study in Japan. And every month, I need to go to the company that gave me the scholarship to report to them that I'm doing well. That office is just located next to the Tokyo Kanda bookstores area. Well, again, coincidentally, I start to find out there are some pre-war histories around there. I think it's a postcard of our very old time of Singapore. And one postcard at that time, if I'm not wrong, is only about five US dollars. So that uh, starts my, my whole collection. The most significant item I have is the Singapore city map. What made the map so significant is there are 83 buildings being numbered and put in a red mark at their locations. This is not a standalone map. That map is supposed to be used with another booklet. The map I found together with 63 other cities in Southeast Asia is a huge work that required a few years of time and many, many resources. From the map, from the black and white photographs, a researcher can see back to 1930s, our cities in Southeast Asia, the buildings, the infrastructures, and so on. If I were to donate my collections, I really need to have a very reliable as well as knowledgeable uh, place. I was uh, considering who should I donate to. There are other uh, organizations, but some are too far away. I can see uh, the growing potential of NLB at the time. So D16, I make up my mind, okay, fine. Uh, this should be the place for, for me. <laughs>